good morning dear students so students in the last class we have finished revising your second chapter that is cats rats and bugs in borneo so after that students today we are proceeding towards reading one of the poem which is been included in this chapter only and the name of the poem is lines uh, written in march and the name of the poet uh, who has written the poem is william wordsworth now student let me read out or recite the poem for all of you written in march the cock is crowing the stream is flowing the small birds twitter the lake just glitter the green fill sleeps in the sun the oldest and youngest are at work with the strongest the cattle are grazing their heads never raising there are 40 feeding like one like an army defeated the snow has retreated and now does fear ill on the top of the bear hill the plow boy is whooping anon anon there is joy in the mountains there is life in the mountains small clouds are sailing blue sky prevailing the rain is over and gone william was god so student this is the poem please we reset at least once the poem at your home this will uh, enable you to improve your pronunciation now student let me give you the summary of the poem so student from the name of the poem that is written in march you can easily guess that the month of the march has been described in this poem and we all know that march it is the ending of the winter season and the beginning of the spring season and we know all know that the spring is the most beautiful season as it just ends the cold the bitter coldness and the new leaves and flowers just started to bloom so students it means that the poet here mainly depicting or describing the beauty of the month of march so let's start with it the story describes the beginning of the spring season as i have already told you and how the day of the spring season starts at the early morning the spring season it starts with the sounds the crowing sounds of the cock and and this the continue continuous flow of the streams the birds chirps all around and as the shine sunshine of the morning sun falls on the uh, water of the lake the lake water it shines like a glitter after that the people they starts working in the fields regardless of their age mean all the older and younger people this work in the green field all together where is the people are working seriously even they don't even look or raise their hats towards the cattle who are grazing or eating the grasses in the field like one entity means student all the cattle there are about 40 cattle who are feeding all together as if they are just a one entity now the second paragraph so in the first paragraph the poet describes the beauty of the uh, morning of a spring season now 
in this paragraph he makes a comparison between the march so or the beginning of the spring season with the ending of the winter season so here he says or he compared the snow with the defeat defeated army as it went back making a way for spring to take over the earth and now the hills are bare or empty without the snow and the plow boy is overwhelmed with the joy of spring and he is calling or shouting at the cattle with the most excitement as if as unknown unknown and there is a joy in the mountains and fountains as all of them seems to come to life after the bitterness of or the coldness of the winter season and now the sky is clearly blue with large movement of some blue clouds on it so student this is the end this is the main idea which has been described by the poet william wordsworth in this poem and i hope that you all have well revised the main ideas or the summary of the poem now students let me give you the word meanings which has been which i have found important in this poem and they are twitter which means chirping number b glitter which means shines with a bright and shimmer reflected light number c grazing which means a grassland suitable for sheep or cattle to eat the grass number d feeding which means give food to then defeated which means having been beaten in a battle or other contest then retreated which means gun back then bear which means uncover then plow boy which means a boy who leads animals in plowing then which mean uh, the word is unknown which means soon and here it shows the excitement in this here in this poem the word unknown it is showing the excitement of the plow boy and number and the last one is prevailing which means continue to be so student these are the important word meanings from the poem and if you find any other word uh, difficult for you you may ask me in the comment section below and i'll tell you the meanings of that word so now student this much will be enough for today and today we have discussed only the summary of the poem and the important word meanings and in tomorrow's class we shall discuss about the poet and about some other important topics which i found uh important to be discussed in this revision class so student this is the end of our today's class and uh, i hope that all of you have well revised the poem as we have already done and uh, one more trick to understand the poem more accurately is first of all student please go through the main videos as this is a revision video so you just go through the main videos that i have made in earlier means the earlier classes you have to go on through the earlier classes first just always do one thing in case of the revision class just go to the main uh, classes of this topic the topic of the, uh, which we are going to do in the revision classes so if you first look after the main um, videos where i uh, i taught you for, uh, these topics for the first time and after you just gone uh, come to these revision videos then you will be able to clarify your doubts what the remaining doubts and it will make your understanding much more better 
and this is the trick you just always remember one thing first of all you have to go through the all the previous videos then come to the revision video and student for my subject i have not made any of my videos in private for your camera all are unlisted you can go through my videos at any time so student with it you have uh, i am ending uh, today's class and again in tomorrow's class we shall meet with an another important topic from this poem thank you so much